Akuna Matata, everybody. It's TBiz here. We're going to be doubling our pleasure and our fun with some Super 7 action tonight. Nothing big, not a huge haul. Just these two uh, Slayer Black Magic version of uh, the, the Minotaur Goatman, as we like to call him. But yeah, got two in. So I guess this is going to be the one I'm going to open for the review's sake because it's got a little, little uh, stress right there, a little crack in the card. This one I'm just going to keep on display or maybe sell some later down the road i think i'm going to just keep on to this because um i flipped some figures just for to have some money and stuff extra money because i looked into it and i was like you know what i'll just collect you know pick up doubles here and there that i can and um and if i need to flip them not to be like an insane scalper just be able to flip them to have some lunch money or food money dinner money or pay a bill or something so it's kind of not a bad investment and i didn't I flipped them for about not that much over the regular price, you know. I, I didn't do a heinous scalper pricing or anything like that because um, they're not really drawing in that much money. I think they do at first, but after a little while, and the goes the low goes down. They don't really pull in insane amount of money. But um, but yeah, I had to make a little bit of dough, so yeah, it comes in handy. It's a good invest. Action figures can be a good investment. I'll just say that for sure. Um, especially last Christmas, made a lot of money off selling some toys and stuff. But anyways, but that's not why I collect. But yeah, got the Black Magic version from this guy after um, the first album, Show No Mercy. But yeah, it's sixth song, Black Magic, pretty evil. But yeah, the, the Antichrist is probably my favorite song. Die by the Sword is probably another favorite. Um, let's see. That's probably about it. Tormentor is a good one. Those are probably my top favorite songs of the album. That whole album is like really, really good, actually. And the funny story is like my first girlfriend in junior high um, got me into Slayer. She was listening to Slayer before I was. And um, I'd never really, I've heard of them, but never really got to it. I always thought it was kind of taboo. I heard Metallica and Anthrax and stuff like that, Overkill, before I heard Slayer. Guns N' Roses, obviously. But, um,. I thought Slayer was kind of taboo because I thought they were ultra, ultra, hardcore, satanic, and really, really satanic, and just, you know, and plus around that whole era too, or a little bit later around that time, scumbag Geraldo Rivera was, um, was doing a lot of, um, witch hunting metal bands and acts and stuff, and it was really uncool, because I remember one time my parents ripped down all my metal posters because of the crap like that, because of propaganda and garbage like that. And really, a lot of these bands back then and now, they're just regular dudes. And they're not ultra monsters or satanic or anything like that. They're just regular dudes with mortgages and kids and wives and stuff and families. And they just like things on a little bit of the darker side, a little bit of the fun side. And most and some of them are actually, I would guarantee, Christian. So, yeah. Not a lot of them, but some of them at least. At least not Glenn Benton or David Vincent or anything like that. But still, or King Diamond. But anyways... But yeah, at least I know Jerry only from the Misfits. He's a, he's Christian. Anyways, but yeah, we got the Black Magic version of the Minotaur man. I think he looks pretty sick. I think he looks pretty bold, pretty bold and black. He like he's been tarred or been barbecued. He's your barbecue buddy because he's got his little little fire crown there, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this is a pretty dark figure. Um, back in my day, as I like to say, because I'm, I turned 43 last week on the May 10th, that, um, that, yeah, this is, uh, back in my day, they didn't have stuff like this. Not at all. Not at all. I mean, you had, like, if I could, I don't know, I don't have any, ooh, I was done, I organized my figures so I don't have my, um, Riders of the Sticks, uh, Demon Guy, but that's close, that's as close as you can get to that, but, and then here's the, a little bit out of reach, the Bim Toys Goat Man. Which isn't the same, but is it the same? I don't know why they call him the Minotaur. And he's, ah, just... Because they want to call him the Minotaur, but... Not too far off from the Goat Man. I guess the ears are different. I don't know. I don't want to argue about it, but oh well. It is what it is. But yeah, that's the Black Magic version, which I think is pretty sick. And then here's the original version. So yeah. Pretty cool. There's your little comparison. So they can fight to the death. Either that or they could just be like um just dark warriors. 
This would be great for, um, I've been playing, uh, Rage, me and my buddy Overlord have been playing Rage Shadow Legends a whole bunch, and, uh, yeah, these would be some dudes that they, you'd be squabbing in Rage Shadow Legends like the Goatman dudes. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. But yeah, that's a real quick look at the Black Magic Minotaur Man from Super 7. And um, you can get both these up. They re-released uh, the regular Slayer Minotaur guy back on Super 7. So you just go to Super7.com and uh, get you both these figures. So yeah, do it. Do it if you like Slayer, excuse me. And uh, do it if you like evil things or not. But yeah, it's, it's an excellent figure. It's excellent if, you, if you're a fan of Slayer. I got to see him on the Fair World Tour last year. With uh, Testament, Lamb of God, Behemoth, Anthrax. Amazing show. Amazing show. It's too bad to get to see him with Jeff Hanneman, but still Gary Holt was sick. Sick replacement for uh, for everything and yeah, for the guitars and stuff for uh, Hanneman. But yeah, just a great, great card on this figure. And just, yeah, it's cool. It's very collectible, very awesome. Once again, I'm done blabbing. And yeah, thanks for watching y'all. And yeah, I finally hit, you know, over a thousand subs. So that's great. It's cool. And I appreciate everybody that always stops by and leaves comments. Friends, new, old. And not too many old friends because we our hangout group got fractured. And me and Overlord are by our lonesomes with just me and Sean and whoever else that still wants to be our friends. But who cares? <laughs> I just wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> and Brother Wampire and Starner. <laughs> Because uh, cause I think it's funny, and I think I have mostly everybody else blocked from my channel that, that we were friends with, because it just got real immature, and when you have when you have to block a bunch of 40, 50 year old something dudes, that's pretty bad from your channel. <laughs> but anyways, I just had to put that out there just in case anybody in the ether wanted to get there, get poked at a little bit, because I like stirring stuff up and roasting people but anyways <laughs> i never got to fully roast the crew oh it'll happen someday maybe soon all right later y'all have a good one <laughs>